In the previous video we learned that the purpose of the closing transfers is to transfer my incomes and my expenses from the income statement and to include them in a very specific place in the balance sheet known as my retained income. Now we're going to close off all our incomes and all our expenses and in addition to that we specifically for companies are going to close off any dividends that was distributed and any income tax that was paid to the taxman. Now income tax can be regarded as an expense and um, dividends is not specifically regarded as an expense but rather as a distribution of equity so we regard that as a negative equity. Now this seems like it should be a fairly simple process. You're simply going to take the amount of all your incomes and you put them into retained income. Your incomes will mostly be credits so you'll take all your credits and put them on the credit side of retained income. Same with expenses, mostly debits. Put them on the debit side of retained income and voila you've included all your incomes, expenses and dividends in the retained income. Not so. In accounting we like to um, add steps and intermediate steps etc. So this is what we're trying to achieve to include all of the totals on these accounts which is going to give me if you add up all the debits and all the credits you're either going to have a net debit or a net credit and to eventually have that net debit or net credit sitting in my retained income. However the process of getting all of these amounts into the retained income is not that straightforward. We're going to use three intermediate accounts known as my trading account, my profit and loss account and finally my appropriation account. So instead of going directly from here to here we're going to go first to the final accounts. So this section here is known as my final accounts. And the reason for that is, this is the very last step in the accounting cycle where we are actually taking all our income and expenses and including them in retained income. This is just before we actually prepare the financial statements. So these are my three trading accounts and specific incomes and expenses are going to different trading accounts. So let's quickly try and just give you an idea which accounts are going to go where. So if we make our trading account the, uh, let's make it the green one, our sales account and our cost of sales will be closed off to the trading account. So sales and cost of sales is going to be closed off to my trading account. Right, there we go. And this is going to represent the gross profit for the entity. Then I will also have some other incomes and other expenses. I'm not going to give or we'll list them now but let's just say some other incomes and other expenses and they are going to be closed off to my profit and loss account. So let's take our other incomes and our other expenses and they're closed off to the profit and loss account. And if you take all the other incomes and the other expenses as well as the gross profit which is also going to be closed off to the profit and loss account, you're going to get the net profit on your profit and loss account. Alright, then finally we will take our dividends to our appropriation account along with the income tax to the appropriation account along with the net profit that we calculated in the profit and loss account and that is going to give us a net debit or a net credit and once we've got that final net debit or credit, we're going to take that final net debit or credit to the retained income account. Now if that seems confusing, then uh, 
Uh, have a look at the next example where we'll actually walk you through the process of preparing the journal entries and preparing the general ledger. But the main thing that you should see here is that we're taking out our incomes, our expenses, our dividends, and our income tax. And at the end of the day, all of that is going to be included in the retained income account as a one liner. The process, however, of getting that into the retained income is a multiple step process of closing different accounts to different accounts to different final accounts and then finally closing off my appropriation account to the retained income account. So let's quickly look at a summary of the steps to close off our accounts. We're going to firstly close off our gross profit against our trading account. Then we're going to close off the net profit against the profit and loss account. And then finally we will appropriate or distribute or use the net profit that we've just closed off to either pay tax, to pay dividends, or we're either going to keep some of that money, some of the net profit that we made in the entity. So the net profit can be used in any one of these three ways and that's where we're going to use the appropriation account. So the left column here represents the accounts that we're going to close off and the entry that you need to record on them and the right column represents the journal that is going to be processed against the final account. So just one example sales is a credit in the trial balance so to close it off we need to put the opposite entry so we're going to debit sales in order to close it off and we're going to close it off to the trading account and therefore for every debit there needs to be a credit we'll credit the trading account so you can keep this as a reference for your various entries just a final note on the final accounts all three of these accounts are intermediary accounts. So what that means is it's not going to be classified as income or expenses, assets or liabilities because they're simply going to be used as accounts where money comes in and money is going to go out again. Money comes in and money is going to go out again. Money comes in and finally money goes out to the retained income. So at the end of the day, the balance of the total on these accounts is going to be zero. The debit side is going to equal the amount on the credit side, and there will be no balance or total left on these final accounts.